Hey guys and welcome. Today I'm going to talk about the USCFLD subroutine. As you might know, the USCFLD is a well-known subroutine. Therefore, I'm going to make this video concise and simple. The USCFLD permits us to use any kind of field variables, such as damage, failure, and etc. Also, it is called for every material point and is available only at the beginning of an increment. This is a pretty important note to be remembered. Also, we must use the STVs to update and store any kind of variable that we might use in the next increment. The USAFLD works with most of the utility routines and also the most important one is the GET VRM. Get VRM allows us to uh, get the material point information such as strains, strains, and etc. Also, it works in conjunction with the U field to prescribe predefined field variables. It works with most of uh, subroutines such as U hyper, U mat, and etc. Also, it can suggest new time increment. However, I do not recommend this option since it makes the abacus to uh, not converge at any increment. The most important aspect of the USAFLD is that it does not store the FVs or the field variables. Therefore, we must use the STVs to uh, update any kind of uh, parameter that we might use. Also, if fees are calculated at materials integration points. This is not the nodal points. As you might know, Abacus extrapolates from integration points to the nodal points. Abacus uses interpolations for finding the solution between the FVs. However, it does not extrapolate. This is very important note. How to use the USCFLD subroutine in Abacus? First, in material behaviors, we can define the density, elastic, plastic, or any kind of damage that we might use. However, we uh, must use the user defined field option to make Abacus use the USCFLD subroutine. Also, if we want to use the STVs, we must uh, choose the depthware option. Here I brought an example to fully illustrate the use of USCFLD subroutine. Suppose that we have a lamina that has the uh, material properties like the line 1. So uh, I'm going to use the field 1 to define damage. So when the damage is equal to 0, there is no changes in material properties. However, when the damage is equal to 1, we can see that the material properties are reduced to a very small number. Never use the number 0 because it makes abacus to not converge. Uh, we can use very small number like I've shown you in this picture. So what I've done here is to use the field 1 as a damage parameter. Next, I'm going to show you how to uh, write the subroutine for this field 1. Continuing with the illustrations, I've modeled a lamina with a very small thickness and the material properties are as shown. I've given a density, one solution dependent variable and elastic materials as shown here. As I showed you in the picture, the line 1 is for intact material and the line 2 is for the damaged material. So when the field 1 becomes 1, the material loses its whole elasticity. And we use the option user defined field to make Abacus use the subroutine. Now, for the subroutine itself, this is the header, you can find it in the Abacus documentation. And the most important is the call get VRM subroutine. We use the keyword S so as to get the stresses from the Abacus. 
since I only need the stress in the local x direction so I use the uh, array number one only for the stress in the x direction so then I use the uh, xfx parameter which is equal to this number to uh, define the damage so the field one is equal to zero for every material point unless the parameter xd1 becomes larger than one so if xd1 becomes greater than the one we can use this type of uh, coding we use the field one equal to one to make abacus use the line two for material and i use the stv1 for storing the xd1 to be shown in the visualization module so if i submit this job to abacus i can see the results as shown here as you can see there are a number of integration points that have a field one equal to one as we expected the question that pops up here is that we use the fv1 equal to one why is it showing a number greater than one this is because abacus uses extrapolations for nodal points if i use the nodal point option i can see that there are a number of nodal points with a greater value than one however if i use the integration points option can you see that only uh, number one and zeros are used for integration points moreover if i get the reaction forces for this lamina i can see that the reaction forces were increased up to a point then the material uh, fe ones are equal to one and the damage has occurred and the reaction forces are reduced to a smaller number this is a pretty simple explanation of the USDFLD subroutine. You can use the subroutine to define a complex and a comprehensive material behavior. This concludes our video. If you find this video useful, please subscribe to my channel and like my videos. Thank you.